What's happening guys? Jay going fishing back on the water today. You're not going to want to miss this one. I'm going to show you guys how I utilize my electronics, finding schools of fish, and then utilizing my live scope to catch those fish. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So we are just cruising around this marina. We're looking for any kind of indication that there's a bunch of bait fish or a bunch of fish on our graphs. We're using our normal, traditional, and our down scan. So when we come up to a pile of fish, I will show you guys what that looks like, and then we'll jump on our live scope up there and see if we can catch them. So right there, right away, I mean, we got some, some, uh, terrible videography going on right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Bait balls, bait balls, and there's all fish around that. So we are gonna, we're gonna get on these fish right now. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like up on the Panoptics live scope up there. All right, y'all, we are ready to go. I'm just gonna pan around with my live scope. I'm gonna show you, there's actually two fish right off the bat, right? right there right there. there's two two bass right there there's a bunch of bait fish down here i'm gonna keep scanning around see if we can find some more fish oh yep there's a good one right there see how it's glowing oh there's another one right there all right guys i'm gonna get on the uh the drop shot we've got we've got the mega bass spark shad on here i'm gonna put some bass dynasty on it and we're gonna catch these fish that we see on the live scope it's gonna be awesome come on let's get it just get a little bit of that bass dynasty on there a little bit goes a long ways guys smear it up masking any kind of scent that you got on you um, this is shad so threadfin shad so we're matching the hatch there's a bunch of threadfin bait fish down there so we are matching the hatch on this guys if you don't use attractant i would highly suggest you do get some um i use bass dynasty i believe in this product i caught my pb using this product i'm a firm believer in that so get yourself some all right y'all so i see a pretty good fish about 20 feet out i'm gonna cast right to him see if we can get this fish I'm actually a little bit behind him. Let's see if we can get him to turn around. No, he's he's too far for forward now. Let's see. Come on. Come on. I know that mega bass paddle tail on that spark shed really attracts him. But now nah, he's gone. He gone. Alright, so we found two more fish right in front of us and they're gone where'd they go okay they're gone <laughs> oh there we go there is one 50 feet out it's a good one So with this live scope, you can literally pinpoint your cast and get right on these fish. It's unbelievable. All right, here we go. Dropping down to them. We're working our way back to this fish. And we are right on him. Let's see if he bites it. Him. Oh, just lost him. He's back on it though. He's gonna get it. Yep, here we go. And it's in his face. Oh, and he swam away. What? A, he got spooked. Oh no, he's coming back. He's coming back. Still dropping it down to him. He hit it on that first drop and I missed him. But he's still down there. I probably spooked him though. Yeah, I done messed that one up. All right, let's find some more. All right, we got a couple of fish out right in front of us, 20 feet, right on the surface. Let's 
see if we can cruise this thing by him. Coming up to him, coming up to him. There's three of them, He's right on one of them. Come on. Man, nothing. Not even a sniff. Alright, just casted literally right on top of one. Come on. Got him. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. He didn't even want it. Alright, let's see if he'll come back for it. Let's see if he'll come back for it. Oh my gosh. Man, they have been just hitting uber light. Fish. I was reeling it up and that fish was literally right underneath the boat so I reeled up all the way to it and he smacked it all right let's see if we can get some actual fish this has been a real slow today guys I'm sorry for that but hopefully it'll pick up he's got oh yeah going right for it right in his face oh yeah come on come on got him got him guys got him this is what we'll be looking for. Better fish. Utilizing that pan optics. That live scope. Finding the fish and literally casting right into their face. Presenting the bait to them. Checking out what they like, what they don't like. If they want it still, still if they want it shaking. There we go. That spark shad, nice little chunky bass. That's how you utilize your electronics, guys. You can do this all day, just cruising around, fishing for fish, not fishing open water. Get this guy back. Ew get back on that live scope, get a little bit more bass dynasty on my spark shad, and we go catch him. There's some good ones right there. 50 feet out. Alright guys, come on. We gotta get some fish in the boat. We can do this. Alright, we're marking them. Find my bait. There's the fish. There's my bait. The fish is actually swimming to me, so... I want to... catch up with that fish. Keep on. There's some fish. Lots of fish. Hard to catch. All right, we're passing a bass right there. He's swimming off. Okay. Okay, we're dropping. We're on him. Got him. Oh no. Didn't even see that fish. Got him. Oh my gosh. There's a three of them right there. They're fighting over it. There's three of them, y'all. Come on, one of them. Eat it. Missed two bites already. Come on. That third fish that hasn't bit yet, it's got to eat it. Got him. Got him. There we go. Took that third fish. I think two of them hit it. Oh, he's coming straight up. There he goes. That was cool. These fish are in pretty deep water. Chasing around bait fish and the spark shad does an awesome job of imitating it. Boom. 
Oh, I got it. Never mind. All right. Chasing fish on the live scope. Can't get much better than that, y'all. Having a blast today showing you guys what I do, how I utilize it, how I find them on the Garmin Pan Optics, and how I catch them. Oh, look at all those. Look at all those. Those are some big fish right there, guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Let's get them. Let's get them. Dropping down right in front of them. They're chasing it. Got him. Oh, he hit my weight. He hit my weight. Oh, there he is. What about that one at 65? Oh, 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 oh. He's hitting my freaking weight. Got him. Got him. That was freaking cool. Oh, it's so crazy. These fish, they see the weight first and then they go and they eat the weight. And then they're like, oh, a shad. And then they'll go and eat the shad. Just plucking them, plucking them off left and right. Got to find those fish that want to eat. Once you find those fish, though, and you put it, you put it right in their face. I mean, they eat it. They, they eat it straight up. So much fun, guys. Drop shotting with the live scope. Some people call it video game fishing. I call it smart fishing. Or what are those things? Unless they're just a bunch of tiny bass. What do you think? Here. You gotta be quick, Gwen. Alright, ready? I'm gonna find out what they are real quick. It might be tiny bass, like Oh, Gwen, what do we got? Is that a crappie? No, it's a bass. It's a bass. I told you they a tiny bass. <laughs> tiny little bass? They're making their own army for That was cool. So we saw a bunch of bass, a bunch of fish on the live scope. Look at his lips. They are pink from eating. A bunch of fish on the live scope. I'll show you guys here in a second. Here, um, I'm going to have Gwen throw them back. What we saw here was, where are they? And, like and of course they're all gone now, but where did they go? Oh, there they are. Okay, so all those little dots by the, the foot sign, all those little dots right in there are bass. Little bass. Look at them all skilled up. One, two, three, four, five. There's like ten of them there. Let's see if we can catch another one. Alright y'all, we're trying to catch one more fish for this video. Come on, last fish, let's go. Got him. Got him. <laughs> oh, I don't know if we can end it on this one, guys. This is a little dinker. But uh, that fish was another sight unseen until I saw him with the live scope and put pitch to put up here. Words are hard. Pitch to him and got him. All right, let's find let's find one more one that's bigger than eight inches and then we can close this video out i hope you guys are enjoying if you guys are enjoying give it a thumbs up and i uh, just want to go over my bait one more time it's a spark shad mega bass i've literally caught this is the third time out with this bait still the same bait i've caught probably 15 bass with this one bait so far it hasn't torn apart and so far two thumbs up i like it a lot so if you haven't checked out a spark shad definitely give it a shot i mean i'm super satisfied so far thanks for watching today guys i hope you learned something hope uh you took something out of this video I'm trying to do a little bit more informative videos for you guys here in 2020 season until next time thanks for watching